Assault rifle, is an automatic firearm which is a long barreled rifle or carbine, which has a choice of fire, selective fire, and uses medium caliber ammunition. Assault rifles fall into the category between submachine guns, which function to fire fully automatically as a support weapon, and the submachine pistol, an automatic weapon that uses pistol-sized bullets as a melee weapon. Assault Rifles have become standard armament for modern armies, replacing World War II-era long-barreled rifles, such as the M1 Garand and SKS. In Southeast Asia, there are several countries that have been able to make assault rifles, among others. STV, is the family of assault rifles made in Vietnam. All of them are manufactured at the Z111 factory. Currently, all rifles are chambered in 762 by 39 The SAR-21 is a bullpup assault rifle, designed and manufactured in Singapore. First disclosed, and subsequently, adopted by the Singapore Armed Forces SAF, in 1999, it was designed and developed over a four-year period, and is intended to replace the M16S1, which was built locally by the Ministry of Defence, MINDEF, Singapore Army, and Industry. Chartered Singapore, SIS, now Street Kinetics. Many of its design features were directly intended to counter the M16S1's weaknesses, such as those encountered operationally by some infantrymen. The SS2 is a replacement for the Pindad SS, which was made by PT Pindad. This can be seen during the ASEAN Army Rifles Contest by foreign media, in 2006, apart from exposure by local Indonesian media. The following, are the differences in the results of assault, rifles, from the three countries. The STV-215 is a carbine version of the STV-380. It is used with the STV-380, as one of the standard rifles issued to the Vietnamese People's Army. It is similar to the STV-380 in all aspects, except for the barrel length being 215 mm. SAR-21 submachine gun, LMG. Equipped with an open bolt, it has a heavy 513 mm, 20.2 inch, barrel with integral folding bipod and front grip. SS-2V1 The new rifle based on the SS-1, replaced in the Indonesian military, after tests were carried out from 2003 to 2005. It was adopted by the Indonesian security forces in 2006. It has an interchangeable carrying handle with the scope, for mounting the scope on a bikini rail, and a side folding stock. There is a heavy barrel, SS-2V1HB, version on the market carbine version of the SS-2V1. There is a heavy barrel, version, SS-2V2HB, on the mark. The STV-380 is one of the standard assault rifles, issued to the Vietnamese People's Army. The length of the barrel is 380 mm. It has a folding stock similar to the FN Falpera. SAR-21 Sniper same as basic SAR-21, but has 3.0x optical sight instead of standard 1.5x sight. The scene image is composed of luminous black paint, allowing for target engagement, which is easier at night without the use of LAD. SS-2V5 The compact version of the SS-2V1 Launched at the Indo-Defense and Aerospace Exhibition in 2008, the STV-410 is an assault rifle with a barrel length of 410 mm. The overall build of the rifle resembles the AK-15. The Picatinny handguard rails are slightly extended to cover the entire handguard. The front sight and gas block, too, are similar to those found on the AK-1215. SAR-21 GL Attached with SIS-40 GL or M203 grenade launcher. Several subvariants slash prototypes, combining different targeting modules, or mounted on P-rails, 
for grenade target acquisition. Known sites that have been used include the quadrant of the site, various optical sites and a laser fire control system. SS-2V5A1 A subvariant of the SS-2V5, this was produced for Brumub troops. It was publicly unveiled in 2012. The STV-416 is an assault rifle, which resembles the AK-103. Rifle with the only variant that does not include a Picatinny rail. Instead, it includes side mounts, for sights and mounts on hand guards, for grenade launchers. The rear sight is moved to the rear of the handguard. The front and gas block are similar to those found on the AK-103. SAR-21 Picatinny Rail, has a Picatinny Rail instead of, its integral optical sight. The charging handle is moved to the left side of the weapon, interchangeable with the right side. Modular Mounting System, MMS, SAR-21, it has an integral optical sight and LAD, detachable to allow for a wide variety of additional tactical accessories, such as vertical attack grips tactical lights and reflex sights. The charging handle is moved to the left side of the weapon. Similar to the Pirail model, with the exception of a shorter barrel. Variants consist of standard barrel and carbine based. SS-2V5C a sub-variant of the SS-2V5, this was produced for the Copasis troops. It was publicly unveiled in 2012. The STL-1A also known as STLA-1, rifle is an assault rifle made in Vietnam. It is manufactured at the Z111 factory. This rifle is an enhanced copy of the AKM rifle, but is generally compared to the AK-103. This rifle is chambered in 7.62x39. The SAR-21 light carbine, the lightweight SAR-21 variant, was revealed during the Asian Defense Exhibition, held in conjunction with Asian Aerospace 2006. This variant offers a very short barrel, and a shorter handguard. Picatinny rails are also used. The Round Corner Firing, RCF, module, similar in concept to the Israeli corner shot, can be attached to any of the above SAR-21 variants to perform operations in urban environments. SS-2V4, carrier grip replaced with Picatinny rail, for scope mount, as designated marksman rifle. It is said to be for the use of Indonesian special forces. The front side has been removed and the barrel lengthened, and is tuned for increased accuracy. There is a heavy barrel version, SS-2V4HB, on the market, which is meant to shoot 600 meters. SAR 21A, prototype unveiled at the 2010 Singapore Air Show, this updated variant offers a more robust thumb selector for ambidextrous control, reduced weight by 3.2 kilograms, 7 pounds, 0.9 ounces, built in Picatinny rail full length along its length, and a higher rate of speed. Shoot at 900 rpm. In production in 2012, SS-2V7 launched in May 2016. The SS-2V7 is a subsonic variant, intended for use in special forces operations, when stealth is required through the use of mounted suppressors. Due to security concerns, there are no plans to market it overseas. Officially disclosed to the press, at a public event sponsored by the Indonesian Ministry of Defense, on June 9, 2016. Can be used up to 150 meters. The SS-2V7 uses its own subsonic spin. According to Pandad, it is much quieter than the MP7 when fired.